Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. Let's get into your messages for the week of 22nd until the 29th of April. Messages for Virgo. What to expect? Eight of Wands. Some fast movement. This could be in the form of energy. You could be feeling highly energetic, highly creative. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. Or an offer coming from the divine. Hmm, I see something flying out here, or a lot. <laughs> Three of Swords, Page of Swords. Let's look at that. Eight of Pentacles. That is you, that is your energy. There could be a message coming in fast. Strength, temperance, similar energies of regulation. With the fast changes, 888, you may feel guided to check that angel number. It has to do with finances. Um, okay. The emperor, building your empire. So you may be a father figure as well. Four of swords, strategy, strategizing towards something. Six of cups, this could be to do with uh, past energy. You could find yourself feeling nostalgic. The Empress and the Emperor. Okay. A father figure and a mother figure. There's something to do with a past energy holding on to you. This could be a community that you have rounded up a cycle with. And the Knight of Wands is a fiery energy. Knight of Wands is Scorpio Sagittarius. So we have two Sagittarius here. And then Strength is Leo. In a nutshell, it feels like, Virgo, you are in this place where you are focused on your finances and there are some messages that are coming in for you. It feels with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords signifies communication, the air element. There could be a Libra in your energy as well. Uh, Page of Swords is more of the air element of communication. So whatever this is or the or who they are with the 10 birds in the background they are keeping watch on you they are if they can't see you in any capacity it could be online they are also they're watching you they're monitoring you in some way and this situation did have an impact on your communication your throat chakra your ability to express yourself freely and you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. It puts you down under. You hit rock bottom because of this. And right now there is some fast communication. So what it says to me right now with even the strength and temperance energy, even with the emperor, look at that four of swords, three plus one, is like you have up leveled your magnetism, your confidence, your connection with your ancestors. There is a there's a way that you go about everything that you do right now that shows how much you have changed and how much you have grown. You've gone through a lot of expansion. Now, the reason this is coming up is because there is, yeah, there's something to do with some fast communication coming in from some energies of the past. This could be family, a community, because they are holding on. All right, and we see the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, Venus. So there's something to do with your finances here. They may be offering you finances or it's you coming into more finances. And because of this, they can sense that and they want to come in. Mm. Okay, so let's get more about, look at that, the cards are flying out, six of cups, okay, so it's for you to be aware of this, when I see Venus energy, it comes first to us, our love for self, that self-love journey, and then immediate environment, alright, in any capacity, this could be siblings, parents, friends, kids, Okay, um, so there's an energy of nostalgia here for some of you, all right? All right, so let's get more about Ace of Pentacles.
we have the chariot here <laughs> six of swords the tower three of wands and two of wands so it feels like everything that served to or planned the motive was to cause you conflict you moved away from it you're moving away from it and you allow every tower that comes to help to expand you and to help you to plan this is a very calm energy like watchful observant watches a lot and it feels like yours page of wands there still here page of wands and page of swords could be a young person this is fire and that is air so this could be about someone in your energy or you could be this young person all right so let's see more about ace of pentacles six of pentacles there we go i'm making this video on the day of venus that is friday so everything that is talking about balance or that is pointing towards balance and beauty is coming out here <laughs> Okay, so we have six and one, seven pentacles, investment. So this situation, it puts you in a dependent state. You have been given and given in the form of finances, attention, love. And they're looking for a way in. So you get to decide because the number six is an energy of decision as well. So you get to decide what you want. It's a form of judgment. Like you get to judge the situation to see if, it's, if it serves you. It does look like you are going towards your expansion through whatever decision that you make going forward. All right, so let's see. Three of Swords. The high priestess this is Pisces energy um, so this may have put you in a third party situation as well and you are connecting more and more to the divine feminine consciousness in other words the self remembering who you are through all of this it's connecting you back to who you are so page of swords, death, Scorpio, there's something about the full moon in Scorpio maybe or there could be a Scorpio in your energy as well. Page of swords is learning. There's something you're learning. Could be someone learning as well but there's a major transformation here so learning could come from every motive from being watched to reading about something doing some kind of research with the eight of pentacles that came earlier could go from any other party like from your side or another person okay so let's see eight of wands and six of cups Three of Wands. There. You're going towards your expansion no matter what. It's like whatever it is that you are getting, the information that is being brought back to you, or you are gaining, you're using it to plan further. Whatever you're getting, Virgo, it's like you're taking it to plan ahead like okay i've gotten this weighing options making judgment and then looking onwards ace of pentacles six of pentacles queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio there may be a mother figure here whatever this is has to do with a uh, mother wound 
So it could be this person, it could be you as well. There's a lot of healing here. But someone is trying to come back in, that's for sure. Or some people. Alright, so let's see. Three of Swords, the High Priestess. Two of Swords. Hmm. This is an energy of indecision. So this situation may have caused you to be indecisive. Or there could be someone, again, there, I feel like there's someone that this reading is for and you may be getting it for them. Because this is Libra energy. And whatever it is that could be blinding this person mentally in the mind space, they're learning to use the consciousness, the third eye, that extraordinary vision that you're connecting to, to make a judgment call, to make a decision. Page of Swords and Death. Ten of Wands. So there's a transformation happening here regarding something that you have been putting in so much work into. So whatever this is, is dropping off your load. As you open up your heart even more to receiving from the divine. So it's a sense of fulfillment I'm getting here. So when we talk about harvest, usually like we think about finances, yes, they are part of it. But what I'm getting mostly here is about that fulfillment. And strategy and planning. Everything that makes life easier. So what's the over? I see nine of cups here. And seven of swords. Yeah, strategy. Once again. And fulfillment. Uh, so let's see the overall energy for the week for you. What would you like Virgo to know? King of cups. Wisdom. Applying wisdom. The Empress and the Emperor came, and then we have Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Now, these two uh, cut cards, they are, their backs are turned to each other. So there's something about you gaining wisdom from a situation that you were a nurturer, you were a carer, you gave to. And all of that, you are garnering wisdom, you're using it for your own manifestations. Nine of Wands and King of Wands, you're reclaiming your power. So there could be something you're learning here from the full moon in Scorpio. It could be in the form of a message. Something that is illuminated to you from the shadows to release. Hmm. Let's get something from Angels and Ancestors. Oracle, there, there is information coming in. Wait for important information. Knight, be brave and honest. That is something to do with justice. Shaolin Master, be graceful in movement and action. One of my favorite cards. And Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. So let's start with Shaolin Master. Okay, traveler is coming here. Move in a new direction. So this is a kind of a blessing from the divine. So this will be coming after the reading for Shaolin Master. 
Slow and steady, breathe and flow, take a gentler approach. You are being guided to flow like water, blow like air and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. Night. Do the right thing, even if it isn't the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The energy of respect is important right now. You're being encouraged to figure out what is important to you and what you stand for. If you are in a space where there is opposition, you are being guided to follow through with integrity. Because, even if it seems this will slow your progress, your reward will be much more abundant. You're being surrounded by a light of bravery to help you. This card also brings justice. If you are longing for justice, please know that the universal energies are bringing, are working to bring everything back into order and that you don't need to force anything through with your will. If you have made any mistakes recently, it's important to take ownership of them so that you can align yourself with improving the situation. Oracle. There's definitely more information coming here, Virgo. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. Okay, a lot about integrity here. And grace. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So, look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You're being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves. Because at the moment, you're letting your wants get in the way of your needs. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed, but then you will know what to do next. Hmm. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. Right, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.